It happens all the time. You see it all the time in sports. A team goes into the opponent's stadium or the opponent's home field or the opponent's court. And even though you're better than that opponent, there's an energy about the stadium. There's an energy about the field. There's an energy about being in enemy territory that propels the opponent and gives them an initial burst of energy. So you'll see oftentimes that a team will walk into a stadium or, or, or a court and they'll be down early in the game. They'll be behind early in the competition. But, but what happens? But what happens more times than not, that eventually that energy surge that they got from the crowd, from being at home, from feeling comfortable in their environment, that initial energy that they got will subside, will go away, and eventually it becomes a game. It becomes a game of catch, a game of throwing, a game of tackling, whatever the sport. It becomes a game of skills and talents and ability and work ethic. And all the other stuff goes away. But here's the trick, right? When you are the better team, when you are the, the, the better opponent, when you should win the game based on talent and ability, you have to withstand that energy. You have to weather the storm. You have to weather the storm. That means you have to withstand that surge. You might be a boxer and the opponent gives you a lucky strike, right? You have to get through the round. You have to weather the storm and come out of the back end, but you can't be down by 20. You can't be down by three touchdowns. You can't get knocked out in the moment. Moment. You have to weather the storm. You have to know that you will get through to this, but on the back end, you cannot be down by too much to where your talent, your superior ability cannot take over. And that's exactly how life is. That's exactly how pursuing your dream and your vision and chasing greatness and hunting greatness, that's exactly how it is. You see, it won't always be smooth. Right, the opponent that is your dream, the opponent that is resistance, is formidable, is tough, has beaten many opponents, has beaten many people, has had you down before. But you better. You're better than that voice. You're better than that resistance. You're better than that happenstance. You're better than that detriment. You're better than that obstacle. You're better than that barrier. You're better than that. You're better. You will win, but you got to withstand. And you got to weather the storm. That means when you don't feel excited about getting your law degree, you still got to go study. When you don't feel like working out because that dream of being in a bikini is no longer as, as desirable as it once was, you know it'll come back. So you cannot stop working out. You cannot stop eating decently altogether. That dream of having a, 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 a business that's thriving. Right? There's going to be times when you're in the midst of struggle in the midst of challenge somebody might quit you might lose a, an account you can't quit you have to weather the storm right and the trick is this you have to understand and I'm gonna bring it down to what I believe at my heart right that God don't put us through anything that we can't take God don't put us through anything that we're not strong enough for but the trick is you have to know it 
You have to know you're strong enough. You have to know that you will get through this. You have to know that after all this is done, that you will still be standing. But you have to weather the storm. And if you think about it, and if you're being really completely honest, you've already weathered some storms. So the proof is in the pudding. The proof of how good God is, is in the pudding. The proof of how strong you are is in the pudding. Right, the proof is in the pudding, right? You've done it before. So it's easy when you come through it to know that you can do it. It's easy even when you get close to finishing it, to believe you can do it. It's easy to believe you can be fit after you've lost 20 or 30 pounds and your goal is in sight. It's easy to believe you can build a business after you have landed two or three account, accounts and you can see your goal is in sight. The trick is, can you have faith? Can you believe when you can't see the shore? Can you trust that God's going to get you through the storm even when you can't see the shore? Even when the boat is, is filling up with water and you can't see any shore whatsoever, can you still trust in yourself? Can you still trust in God to get you through this moment? Yes, and yes. Yes, you can, and yes, you can, and you must. Because this journey is gonna have some storms. Whatever the journey is, if it's worth going to, it's going to have some storms. The water is going to be rocky. And when you get in those moments, and you have been in those moments, when you get in those moments where it seems shaky, and it's stormy, and, and the, the, the boat is, is full of water, and you can't see shore, and you want to give up, remember what you've been through. Remember who's with you. And then have some, some, some faith, have some, some peace, and have some inner strength, knowing that you will, you have, and you will continue to look forward to coming out of this because you have the ability and the wherewithal and the strength to weather any storm.